In the movies, they have a thing called co-production. That's where producers in various countries will get together to produce a movie. Well, here we have an automotive co-production. It is the 2023 Toyota GR Supra with a 3-liter engine. It is a co-production of BMW and Toyota, and I think it's great. Get in. It's time for Family Wheels. Supra runs on premium fuel, but Family Wheels gets its octane from you. So give us a like. And while you're signed in for that like, subscribe and click the little bell for notifications. If you've got thoughts about the Supra, leave a comment. Thanks. I've always liked that BMW and Toyota work together to give us another two-seat sports car. They're not really eating each other's lunches because this car looks nothing like a BMW Z4, even though everything inside the skin is basically BMW. And so, uh, from a marketing point of view, take your choice. You want this sort of Tokyo Drift style, or you want something, something uh, more conservative and European, you can get uh, the Z4. And of course, if you want a convertible, then you get the Z4. But otherwise, it's, it's identical. The engine under here is 3 liter, 382 horsepower, straight six turbo. It's the same in both cars. The big news about the Supra in the 2023 model year is this, a six-speed manual transmission. That's right, until now, you could only get an eight-speed automatic. Now, I think it happens to be the finest automatic transmission ever made. I believe it's the ZF 8-speed auto. Fantastic. I wouldn't mind having one. In fact, I drove the 2-liter with the automatic. However, on the 3-liter, you can now get a 6-speed, and that's a lot more fun for some folks. By the way, it's not as fast. Automatic transmission is going to be faster. Also, it uses a fair bit less fuel. We've got oodles of power from this BMW straight six. Let's see how it does up one of Vancouver's steeper hills. Those 275s at the rear can just hang on. That's how much power we've got. 382 horsepower in all. And that's lots. By the way, the two liter version with the lighter, smaller, a four-cylinder turbo engine has lots of power as well 255 that's plenty uh, but of course a lot more power uh, has its uses the handling is razor sharp on the Supra on the three liter edition we have strut braces up front limited slip differential it's just exquisite now you couple that with the straight six turbo bit of engine science here a straight six is naturally balanced. It needs no internal balancer. Same with a V12. And you do feel that in this engine. I see there's rev matching on downshifts. I suppose that's okay for some folks if you don't really know how to rev match on your own. Yep, rev match. Now let's check out the brakes. Perfect. Although the all the mechanicals and the hard points where things are mounted underneath the body are all BMW. Toyota has always said that it does its own suspension tuning. And so what is that? Well, could be spring rates, could be shock valving. For 2023, it has made some changes to the suspension tuning. I don't think I've ever praised the stop-start system on a vehicle where we try to save a little bit of gasoline, but here I am, stopped, got the clutch in, let the clutch out. Boom, engine shuts off, and it does that pretty much every single time. It's put the clutch back in to take off from stoplight or whatever. Engine starts up seamlessly, and away you go. This is the A91 spec, which sounds really fancy, and it's a very limited edition. Only 50 in Canada of these, 500 in the United States. But really, that's all just an appearance package. However, it may be the only way you can get your hands on a manual. Yes, the six-speed manual is available in the, the regular spec without the A91, 
However, maybe demand is going to be so great that you have to stump up the extra money, about $1,600 Canadian, to get the A91 package to get the six-speed. With the A91, you do get a really nice uh, different uh, look in the leather, uh, so that's lovely. And paint colors available, unique to that specification. And I must say, the gray on this one is is subtle. It's really it's exquisite. It's got kind of a couple of drops of purple in it, if you can imagine that. And it's metallic, but not crazy metallic. So it's it's understated, but really eye-catching at the same time. There's that power again. My criticisms are few. This isn't the easiest car to get into and out of uh, if uh, you are a person who wears a dress or a skirt. Keep that in mind, uh, wear trousers. This is very low. This is rollover from the roof down to the side is really low. I mean, there's my head. So uh, you have to accommodate that as well. We do have a, a, a double bubble top, which in addition to looking sporty, provides a bit of extra headroom for uh, the taller driver. There is kind of a lack of storage in the cabin area. I'm not talking about the, the trunk, but here, there's no center bin. You can't lift this up and put things in. So I had to stuff my wallet uh, and uh, back here. My sunglasses barely fit in the side pocket here. Could do with just a tiny bit more room. Left rear quarter visibility is surprisingly good, but a shoulder check to the right is like looking at a blank black wall. Thank goodness for blind spot detection systems. Niceties at this level, at this trim, uh, we do get wireless charging and wireless Apple CarPlay. There's, by the way, only one USB port here. The 3.0 also gets adaptive suspension, limited slip differential, something called Hairpin Plus to help you hustle through switchback turns, and a strut brace. Our review car has Michelin Pilot Super Sport Summer Tires, the Pilot Sport line noted for its excellent performance. Their 255-35ZR19 at the front to 75-35ZR19 at the rear. Obviously, we won't do our usual cargo test, but there's space back here for groceries and enough room for a weekend getaway's worth of luggage. Of note, there is a cover for the area. I've thoroughly enjoyed my time with the Toyota GR Supra 3 liter. It is an excellent sports car. But what do you think? Leave a comment. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, and thanks for subscribing. I'm Richard Detman, and I'll see you next time on Family Wheels. <music>